begin. Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Poor Man Pedals. Today is very special. The people over at Tallman were kind enough to send me the Harley Benton CST24 hollow body guitar in tortoise flame. So I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, it's a semi-hollow. It's my first for a lot of features. Uh, and it's just really nice. It's a really nice guitar. I've really loved having it. Um, and so let's go ahead. I'm going to start off uh, with the specs. It's got a mahogany body. It's got a triple A flame neck, flame maple top. Uh, it's a set in three piece mahogany neck. Uh, the fretboard is Jatoba. Uh, it's got f 24 frets, my first ever 24 fret guitar. It is semi hollow, my first ever semi hollow. Uh, my first ever three by three uh, for the tuning heads. Uh, it comes with a graphite nut. Uh, the inlays, uh, I was expecting on the website, it said mother of pearl dot, which is, so that's what I was expecting, but it came with like these cool, I'm not sure if they're mother of pearl or what are, or abalone or whatever they are. And they're kind of like crosses, which is really cool. Um, it's got an ivory binding, my first ever guitar with binding. Uh, and then it's got two humbuckers. They're the Roswell LAF Alnico 5 pickups. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, pull out the knob. And that is a for a coil split that splits both the neck and the uh, bridge. This is the tone knob. This is the volume knob. Three-way switch. Uh, and let me make sure there's nothing else I'm forgetting. Uh, D DLX GTB wrap-over. Uh, DLX chrome hardware all around. Uh, DLX die-cast tuning, tuning heads. And it came with uh, Diderio XL uh, 10s. It's the 10 to 46 gauge. And yeah, uh, I love the finish on this. Um, if you watch my unboxing, you will know that uh, there was a little bit of damage right here on this one tip of the headstock. Um, I have since also noticed there's like some black, I don't know what it is, if it's paint or what, uh, just on the fourth fret by the third, it's on the fourth, it's by the third fret, but it's closer to the neck, uh, just kind of right here. There's some spot, I'm going to look into that, um, but other than that, I have seen no physical blemishes on this, uh, so I'm pretty happy with it and it's sounding rocking guys uh i'll go ahead and do some tones um and then i'll go into a little bit more about what i think of it
love this guitar. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, my one my one complaint is that the neck pickup, when uh, it's uh, when when it's not split, it sounds really muddy to me. I actually really like the the split sound of it. It sounds great when it's split, and I love the bridge. But for I don't know what I need to do to work on that. But uh, the neck does sound muddy to me when it's not split. Uh, my one other complaint is that there's no cavity on the back for me to go in and access the electronics. So if I, I, I don't know that I could ever really swap out parts on it. Um, I'd probably have to take it somewhere and hopefully they could do it. Uh, all in all, very solid, uh, and hopefully Toman fixes the, uh, makes the padding a little thicker so that damage to the headstock doesn't happen. Otherwise, absolutely fantastic, and it's absolutely fantastic because when I just checked recently, you could get this guitar before shipping and taxes. It was l less than $190, I think. Maybe that was euros, I don't remember. It might have been euros. So I would I would guess that after if you live in the states after shipping you're looking at probably about two fifty to two sixty. So pretty good for what you get. This is absolutely fantastic. It looks amazing. Can't recommend it enough.